we made it <laughs> today I'm gonna do a drive from Matadei I went over to see my brother-in-law Matadei Hospital to this beautiful place of Dingley follow along with me it's gonna be a bit of traffic it's trip it's peak time we could be going it depends how you go you could be going against the traffic or with the traffic Hopefully with the traffic. Follow me guys all the way to Dingley. This is my island in the sun. Hi guys. Well, we're right in the middle of things here. This is the new university. And over there is Matadei Hospital. Uh, we had a bit of sad news with my brother-in-law. We've came over uh, to see him. What I'm going to do is, today I plan to go over to Dingley and tell you about my problems. <laughs> Steve, we don't want to know your problems. But this is uh, MCDA, Matadei Hospital. Our mother, Matadei, I think, in Latin. Very, very busy area. So hopefully we're going to get from here to Dingley. So we're going to go on the Brikakara Bypass. We're going to go through the back end of Mostar and then I think that's the best way and then up uh, Sa'aya Hill towards uh, Busquet then go to Rabat that way through Rabat and then go up to Dingley that way come on guys he's over there the chariot all revved up ready to go we're gonna hit the traffic what I'll do is I'll probably block a little bit here and there because it looks very very busy <laughs> come on guys there's still work going on here, look, the university. Here is very nice. I came a couple of times in the university. Um, in the university, it's, got, it's called The Hub. And it's got uh, three or four restaurants, something like that. It's like a piazza where the students, that, that sort of thing. And you can get to the hospital that way. Sad about my brother-in-law. Maybe we'll see how things go and I'll tell you how he's getting on. But we came over here. Uh, is in the, in the transferred him to the ward now so let's carry on guys we're going to drive to Dingley see how the traffic is going so it's, a, it's a not a bad day it's a uh, blue with scattered sort of clouds come on let's drive guys let's switch that on and we'll we'll be on our way I'm sure they're gonna hit a lot of traffic because Bikakara bypass is very very busy this it's um half past eight just gone. So we're off, guys. We're right in the middle of Matadei Hospital and the university is on the left hand side. I'm not sure the way out of this way. Let me just see. Once we get out, we can either go down that road there. Loads of building work going on, loads of ambulances all around. Uh, let's go. Well, let's go down to the to the Bikakara bypass. This is the hospital anyway here. I haven't been out this, oh okay, out of this junction here. So we're gonna head on to the Bikakara bypass now. I don't know how, it's MC to really, this area. It's gonna be quite busy, I think. So if it's too busy, I'll cut here and there. Yeah, my brother-in-law uh, has got some real serious problems, so we came over. And I'm not sure if they're going to go into surgery or not. That's the difficult time, eh? We're all getting on a bit, guys. Anyway, this is Rikikara Bypass. Doesn't look too bad at the moment. Piles of traffic. About this time in the day, normally you get the traffic. On the left rear, Rikikara. Very big area now. I think it's the highly most highly populated part of Malta. I'm going to 
hit a bit of traffic, I think, coming up to the islands. Let's see if we can get into this outside lane. Sometimes, you know, sometimes, did that ever happen to you guys? You have a choice of lanes to pick. And then, <laughs> the lane you pick is the slowest lane. Because everybody wants to go in it, and that's, a, that's the thing. Um, just down on the left, a bit further down, is the very big places like Vodafone and um, Scan Computers big bathroom centres. Oh, it's not too bad. Normally this first island, the Brikakara, you normally get a bit of traffic in it. Uh, so we've got a choice from here. We can go through the three uh, cities, which is a bit pain in the backside because uh, Balzan has been all dug up, so uh, it's not easy to get through Balzan. Or we can go uh, up towards Mostar. <laughs> Look at these clowns here. What a plonker. And there's a crossing just a bit further down there. Some people have a go, but the traffic is too heavy for that. Oh, here's where, the, here's where we're going to get a blockage here. I'm not sure if this is traffic lights to hold it up or there's an island just down here. <coughs> I still got that bit of groggy throat. Seems it, it seems it, it doesn't want to go away. It was the third flu of the year. Oh, we're, we're, we're flying guys, we're flying. Now the temperature's really shot up uh, about five degrees, something like that in the last day or so. Let's say we're gonna be over 25, um, 22 today, 25 towards the weekend. So I'm not grumbling. Blue sky, you can see ahead of us there. I'm not sure what that place is, right? Probably you can't see it with the GoPro. But we're, we're flying guys, we're, we're, it was really piled up when I came this morning, this way. Because I have to come from this way from Balzan. We turn left now, go down to Brikakara Valley Road. Where we're going straight in. I think we're going to turn uh, towards Leah. And then go up that way towards Mostar. We've got a better chance of missing the traffic. As I said, if I go straight across Leah, in through the three uh, villages to cut across it's like a bit difficult from this side of the island to get to the other side Rabat side because there's these three cities they're like very ancient cities 1700 something like that Atar dating back to and they're like very joined together with very small roads this is a very very busy we call this the bathroom design island uh, it, it gets very very busy here so maybe I'll cut a little bit I'll show you Thank you, Patreons. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I hope you're enjoying it. I want to thank my Patreons and the contributions from PayPal. If you want to help the channel, the link is below. If you want to go over and see my other channels, travel channel and foodie channel, all the links are for Instagram and Facebook. the island guys oh, that's a hold up if these people these uh, traffic controllers just let us do what we want to do there would be no hold ups but when they get involved it's bloody chaos anyway this uh, this area here it's got a uh, Leah to the left and there's like uh, on the right hand side I'm not sure you catch it Terra Nova gallery Damini shoe shops that sort of thing these bike people, this, they hold everybody up, make everybody like hesitant and it causes more traffic I think. It's to, they put them there just to keep the flow going but it seems to make more, look at all the traffic here that has been holding up. If they just left it the Maltese way to push yourself out and blend in with the traffic. Oh we're in the wrong lane again Steve, we got, we're looking up two horses asses. Anyway, this is the very, very ancient uh, Leah Cemetery. Uh, it had lots of problems in the past because here it used to be very, very flooded. And that, that cemetery, very flo flooded. Sorry, I'm always turning right. Okay, I was just trying to 
going on the uh, the left hand side. Oh, there's a lot of traffic there anyway, so let's get going. Let's get out of here. They can't get into that junction there. Nice road, this goes all the way up now to Mostar. I'm not sure this area is called, could be part of the, uh, um, you can see what that sort of thing we're going over, that's to stop the water drainage thing across the road because it really suffers badly for, uh, for water coming down here from Leah. A bit more traffic this way because there's another island here. We're getting a lot of electric buses, guys. Are you, uh, tell me in the comments, are you the same thing over your way? Electric bus is all right. Uh, motor, I think electric wouldn't be too bad. In indicate and pull out. Why don't you? I was going to Nashar, 280, go to Nashar. We're in the wrong blooming lane again. Oh no, there's a, there's a breakdown. That's why he pulled out. Unless he pulls out. Here we are. This is going right to Nasha, San Juan. Uh, I don't know where else you could go that way towards the coast. Tassellini that way. So get in your lane before you're turning, clowns, and you go across the crossing things to right here. I'm not sure if we go through. I'm a bit nervous to go through Mostar. I'm not sure how they did it now whether I can go up Mostar High Street but what I'll do is I'll go on the bypass I think. There was on the right hand side many years ago there was a, a sort of smart city was going to be. It was a complete flop. I don't know a te techno city or something like that. I don't know, I think they sometimes Malta was at those old days thinking above above themselves. But it seems like uh, Smart City is building. If you want me to go over to Smart City guys, there's a, a new shopping centre. I think there's already been a couple of videos of it. <coughs> it's not ready yet, that's why I didn't bother to go. You can go and make a be the first video like a, I saw a couple of vloggers go over. But there's only half a dozen shops open. You can sort of I was waiting for the hotel to open and the area to be built up a bit. Some people think they can get there the first. The biggest shopping mall in Malta, but <laughs> it's half finished to the hook. Oh, a bit, a bit of traffic here. This is a nice road. It's like uh, the bypass of Mostar. So Mostar roads here on the right hand side, you go into the center. Or oh, lots of small roads in Mostar. So we're going to head out a little bit. This is about the only way you can go this way or you can go through Hatard. But there's a lot of roadworks in Balzan and Hatard, the top end. So I can imagine I'm going to get stuck in more traffic that way. So better to stick on the outside. Sometimes that now in Malta with the amount of vehicles on the road. It's best to go like out of your way if you're going to a certain destination. Because if you go on a direct route, you're going to get snarled in the traffic. Most of Atard, there's a, on this outskirt that I'll be going across to the Central Road Project, Central Regional Project or whatever you called it. I have to go through Atard, I have to go through these road junks and Balzan, I'd have to do the same. Oh, look at that one, can you see him in front? He's doing the concrete. That saved a lot of time now in the old days. He used to be carrying it up there. But now with these high rises in Malta, I think you have to do something. So we're well on our way to Rabat. That's going to be our first stop. That's the Aya Hill. We're going to go on the bypass first though. They built a, a new bypass. Quite a fast road. This is still on the outskirts of Mostar. I bought my first van from this guy, Ventura. Just down that road. He's an alright guy. <laughs> I got a good, I got a good bargain, a Mazda, um, with two side doors. It saved me for like, I, I had it for 25 years and it only caused, the only problem I had with the gear, the selector of the gear stick, it was a bit wobbly and this, and it, 
most of the Mazdas, you can do it from the top, but this you have to take the gearbox out. And I just left it the way it is, I didn't bother with it. So I think the next block, road block we're gonna get is this big island. But hopefully, because uh, we're not gonna do a right towards Bujibba, we're gonna do left towards Rabat. We might get away with it. So let's see, beautiful area. Now we're going out a little bit. Dweira up there on the top of the hill. I've done many walks there, Dweira Malta. Can you see the buildings on the top? These junctions, if you're ever driving in Malta, guys, be wary, very, very wary of people pulling out or try, because they'll, they'll go for it. They'll have a go at trying sometimes and then their judgment is not that great. <laughs> and if you're not aware of what they're doing, I think that's a, the idea of driving in Malta, to be aware of everything around you. You can't, uh, you can't think that he's going to stop at that junction or you can't think that he's going to give way to you or you can't think that, that nobody's going to pull out of a side street it was worse in the old days oh, we're, we're, we're sailing through guys this this is normally another another block up here but it's we're doing all right right to Bajibba, straight on to Mjar and we're going left to Rabat ah uh, look at the traffic now to Rabat or is it traffic lights? It could be, because sometimes it can be a hold up of the traffic light. Yeah, a bit of a snarl up here. I think mostly because the road gets into two, from two, from the island here's in one lane. And then it, I think soon it goes into two, so. I'll cut again, guys, because it could be, shall I cut, shall I cut? Are we moving? Yeah, I could for a second, guys. Anyway, lovely, lovely views. I wish I could show you around here. Uh, this is the start of Chadwick Lakes here, just down on the right-hand side. And then Dina, which you'll get a view of in a minute on the hill. And we're going up there. We're going up on the mountains of Malta. along this road guys it's a bit slow going so I cut off the video a little bit you can I'm not sure if you can make out uh, Mdina it probably would be a bit clearer in a minute when we do this sort of left hand turn I assume we'll be into dual carriage work this is the the problem we're going from uh, the island there to single track road and then we'll go into dual carriageway soon and it might be these traffic lights that's causing a little bit of a hold up but it is a busy time more to know it's coming up to nine o'clock ten to nine hey this is gonna be a, a long road runner and a long I'm gonna be talking my voice is gonna be hoarse and I'm gonna do a bit of a, a bit of a chat about the, the hospital and uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna go out before or after about the skin problem I had and uh, I put it out to you on Facebook and some I would imagine 60% of people said they would be interested and also the thing is to protect yourself in Malta because the sun can be very strong I see many people in Bujibba bright red with the skin peeling off be very careful guys be very very careful I am normally careful because lots of people get onto me you're not wearing a hat but a hat makes me sweat really a lot and uh, I put the sunscreen on so it doesn't look like I'm getting uh, cover sort of thing. But I, al I always protect myself with sunscreen. Oh, that's nice. What, uh, what are those called on the left hand side? Violets, something like that. I'm not sure you're catching all this. I'm putting the camera now on the inside. So maybe you're getting a little bit of reflection. I can see that after the, when the sun comes. It's a lot safer than having on the outside because I've got I got uh, looked at a couple of times by these sort of plastic policemen, not real policemen. And then it seems to be anything they can find just to pull you over. A lot safer inside. I don't use, I've had a few problems as well in the past with the microphone. Because the microphone, like if you're not exactly in the jack plug, 
So I've done a whole video of uh, driving video and you can't hear a word. <laughs> uh, I don't really like those ones, it's just playing music. Anyway, let's cut off. We've got, this is an island, I think, up the top. That's the problem. Let's cut off for a second, guys. Well, just to keep you up to picture, there's a MD now. I'm sure you're noticing on the right hand side. We're going up the hill slowly now. Traffic is moving slowly. Some lovely fields and that sort of yellow uh, flower comes out now in Malta. So it's gonna, it's gonna be uh, very beautiful up in Dingley. So don't miss the video in Dingley if it comes before or after this. We're gonna go straight across this island. people try to podge in the middle so I'm gonna stay on this outside like oh might as well just go over for a bit but we're gonna do a right at this island now this is the start of Saia Hill I'm not sure the bottom part's called but you'll see how steep it is going Mdina is looming on my right hand side up on the hill not, not too bad guys the traffic many people said uh, all the traffic's getting too much. Well, it, did, it does, it's very patchy in places. But I remember, I've been out of UK now for over 25, 26 years. And I remember it taking me an hour to get to work with the traffic. Anyway, I need to get on the right hand lane now, I think just before here, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I'll get past this cement mixer anyway. Because we do, we do a right up here soon. So this is the Central Link project coming up here, the end of it. Goes all the way down to uh, Marsa Junction. Gonna do a right here if we can get quickly. Oh no. <laughs> he pods oh we can beat the we can beat the coach. Let's go, we're going up to Rabat now. Very historic place, Rabat, Mdina. What a clown! What a plonker! <laughs> what are they doing here? Doing, doing a bit of gardening. One time they were going to do the Central Link project all the way up here. I think that was the plan. And cut all these tree, beautiful trees down there. Ancient trees, been here for hundreds of years. And uh, people were actually tying themselves to the trees. I'm not sure exactly what they were going to do. Because there were a lot of trees before this junction that they cut down. But these are very ancient trees of Rabat. Uh, we're almost, I think this is Rabat now. So we're going up towards the Ayat Hill. Uh, the casino is on the right. I think it's called Casino. Tell me in the comments. I think. These are very, very ancient trees up here. And they were going to cut some down. I don't know if they were going to widen the road or what they were going to do years ago. Uh, they were go going to continue up, I think, with the Central Link project. But they were stopped, rightly so, because really nobody needs a, a big road going up here. There is a bit of traffic in the morning, maybe in the afternoon and evening, but normally it's just quiet. I'm not sure Ta'ari's, uh, part of Ta'ari's. Eh? There was that big hotel over, remember there's a big hotel on the left hand side. And uh, it's been there for many years. Huh? I'm not sure if they were rebuilding it or something up there. Now, if you're not a bit pushy, you'll sit here forever. It's the Aya Hill. Even this one on the right, um, there's a nightclub. I wanted to turn it into a hotel. Well, they haven't given them planning, but they've given them planning for many, many things they shouldn't have done. So, Rabat, we're in now, guys. I was trying to find out from the local council. See this place on the right is a sort of where the, there was a statue there many, many years ago. Or was it just a water place? That's what I, I was told. It's just a, an old fountain that they used to come and wash the clothes out. Anyway, that's uh, Rabat on the right. Or you can go straight ahead down that road where that Jeep is. 
I wear it in towards Busquets and Digley. This is very, very old here. There's uh, quite a few monasteries. The, the Rabat is the most places, that's the most churches in the whole of Malta. Uh, they've got many monasteries and chapels and churches here. Very, very old. This is very historic here as I'm driving through here. Um, it's it's quite wide here, then it narrows to the section just here where that bus is. So if you're unlucky to meet a bus coming the opposite direction, it causes a little bit of a backlog. But I think two cars can pass if you don't have a plonker on the other side. Oh, I've just noticed that rag was it. Anyway, we're driving through Dingley, uh, through, through Rabat, on the way to Dingley. It's still early for me, guys, and I haven't had a coffee yet. I'm hoping to find something in Dingley. But I don't know it very well up there. See, two cars can pass through if you're careful. But if you've got a bus or a truck, then you've got a few problems. <coughs> and there's one coming down. I should be able to pass because we went through that narrow part. How beautiful Rabat, if you get a chance. Many people come to Emdina and they don't come to Rabat. But you could spend like an afternoon just going around the small streets. I don't know, he's coming on the bus. Oh no, it's a, it's a tourist bus. Oh, there's another big chapel there on the left. A bit slow going because the road is a bit narrow here. Unless there's some kind of problem. Sometimes you get a, somebody delivering and they're sort of double parked. I'll try and hold back a bit so we don't see the, we're, we're not up the arse of a car. But the, the more you hold back, the more chance somebody has got to podge into you. It's going, but it's slow going, eh? Soon we'll be out of this section of the, of this tight road and we'll be on our way to Dingley. So there'll be a junction a bit further up here to go left to Busquet. Would be quite nice to visit as well. It's been many years since I've been down there. And then we have to go, I think the road, it's not a right, I think it's just a continuation on the right, bare right, up to Dingley. Dingley is very nice and I have never did a, a walk around Dingley. It's quite an old place. Obviously in the old days there was nothing there. Oh, they're doing this square again. That's only a few years ago. They must have some money and they've got to get rid of it. <coughs> it's been, it's, it's not been long. So that was a left there if you want to go to Busquet and we're heading towards Dingley now. Whoa. Turn, change down Steve. I bought my license in a pub. <laughs> in the old days now, I'll tell you a little story. I remember I don't know, one of my in-laws, I said, uh, oh, he said, oh, I just went to get the license. I said, what, what license? Said, oh, driving license. I said, oh, did you, I was in, I was still just coming on holiday then. I said, oh, is it difficult here, the, the test and, um, you know, do you have to do a lot of things? He said, no, I just went to the Gazine. Gazine is like uh, the local, like bar, mostly they have a band club, they call it the Gazine. Oh, I just bought it from the Gazine. I said, oh, why, is there like a, a license authority in the Gazine? He said, no, it's just a bloke I know there for a fiver. He bought the driving license. That's in the very, very old days when you could do that. Oh, look how beautiful. Now this is headed into Dingley. The crops are planting the crops as well. How beautiful. Nice road to Dingley. Part of Dingley are nice. The church is, uh, is quite nice. A bit small, but it's nice. And then you have to head out from the village. You head out to the cliffs. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then I might come back later to the, to the village. I, I was going to buy a couple of pastizzi. So if I see one of those, I might stop. 
I don't understand why those places don't sell coffee. That would be an extra bonus for them. It's a bit weird. Even if they did an instant coffee, you'd think people would buy it. It's like an extra, it's like as if they're, here's some people who don't think outside the box. They sell pastits and pies and that's it. And they don't think, hey, I can do some snacks. I can do, instead of soft drinks, I can do some warm drinks for the winter time. Uh, here's got several places dingly. There's a, a nice water, there's a place, like an old fountain that used to be in the old days. There is some videos online. I didn't go inside it, but some, some of the YouTubers, the vloggers, they actually got inside it. It's very cramped to get inside. I think it's as the road uh, makes a sort of one-way system. I've been down to it and I did a video of it many years ago. It's a bit scary down there. And especially when the rains... Look at the building work here. I haven't been here for years. On the outskirts, loads of building work. It seems like they're doing the piping and the wiring on this new road as well. This all this road has been changed. I saw something in the news about they were up in arms, the locals, because I don't know what happened, the road was blocked and uh, that's the trouble, eh? nobody wants change, everybody wants nice electrics and pipes and good sewage systems, but nobody wants to go through the change. But they are a bit, they are a bit long-winded, there's a church looming, oh that looks beautiful from here. Sorry miss, I didn't see you. Oh you can go, there's a there's a road here going to Busquet. That's interesting. So we're in the village now guys. There's the fish merchant on the left hand side. Nice little here I did a video in the evening when it's not going dusk. The birds in the there's about half a dozen trees. And the birds are so loud. I always get mixed up here now, so this is going to be interesting. How to get to the cliffs from here. Sometimes it's signposted. But sometimes it's not. So we're on the outskirts now, Dingley. We went through the village. I don't know actually if there's a core of... Uh, this is the church here of Dingley. Let's see, there's a sign... Oh, let's follow the signs for the cliffs. Dingley cliffs this way. he decided to stop, but why? So we're going to head to the cliffs and we'll stop, we'll find the chapel and we'll stop there I think. It surprised me many years ago when, um, when I came to Dingley. Oh, big hole there. That there's, uh, that the Dingley cliffs quite a way away from the city centre. I think there is a shorter way, but they send you... Have you noticed that, guys, when you're following signs? You would end up to go, like, miles out of your way. I think they do it to sort of... take you out. I'm going to do a... No. Do I do a left or do a... I think this left one goes to the chapel. And the right one goes to the outside. Mistaken. I'm not sure what this platform was for here. Anyway, we're on the cliffs, guys. Dingley Cliffs. There's that dome that uh, I'm not sure what it's for. Beautiful area up here, though, guys. And a nice sky, blue sky. So that road comes about a bit further out. If we'd have done a left, where it says Dingley Cliffs, we'd have come down by the chapel. Whoa! It's a long way down. There's a guy here that sells vegetables, been here for many, many years. Believe me, it's a long way down. And all 
the plants are blooming in. So here's the chapel, guys. I'm gonna stop here for a minute. See if there's any parking. Let's have a quick look around the chapel. <laughs> we made it, guys. Let's change it into the camera and we'll have a walk up to the chapel. Have a, have a walk around. <laughs> we have arrived, guys. Oh, this is Dingley. Dingley Cliffs. Make sure we've got the handbrake on because we don't want any trouble. This vegetable guy has been here for many, many years. Oh, great views from here. Oh, he's got juices here, prickly pear juice. They've been here for many years, those. The bloke is not here. But I'm gonna show you some fantastic views from here. So it's a bit of a road runner. And the dingly cliffs. It's always a bit breezy up here. I was hot in the car. Oh, nice, that one. Wow, what a view. A bit windy. There's Phil Fla. Now, uh, I did a walk down here some time ago and there's a lot of private land or they propose it's private. They don't allow you to go down. But over the years, they've set a precedence. Oh, look how nice here. 